Mid Namuni one, my latest original character open, so I've agreed to draw one of her characters traditionally on paper. Let's see how that turns out, huh? Okay. I mean, <laughs> I'm having so much fun with this shit. I've been drawing traditionally in quite a hell of a long time there, right? Not that it matters, but still, I mean, hell, it's worth mentioning. What do you want to make of this? Hmm. All right. Let's see what we can get with this. Shit posting. Shit posting. Pass it on. We're live, pal. We're live, pal. Oh, we're live? Yes. We're live, man. No shit. No fucking shit. Living in the limelight, the universal dream for those who wish to feel. 
Those who wish to be must put aside their alienation. Get on with. I mean, you, you know that song, right? Everybody knows that fucking song. It's a fucking Rush song, for God's sake. Who wouldn't know it? Ugh. That's a bad idea. No shit. Now keep in mind, I'm not Picasso. I don't do things perfectly like Van Gogh. But I still get it done nonetheless because that's how dedicated I am to my craft. I get it done however I can and I try to make something useful of it. Damn right. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. You know, hell, now that I think about it, I think this is going to turn out so boss. This is going to get so lit. And keep in mind, I don't ever traditionally draw anymore. I just don't. Because I don't give a shit. Except for today, I give a shit. I care. I mean, not that it means anything, but still. It's worth mentioning. And yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Now we got something going. Ah, oh, yeah. Let's see what we do. Now this may seem a little bit disproportionate at times, but still, I do my best. I do what I can to make ends meet. If it's not enough, I try to do better the next time, and if it's not better the next time, I don't even fucking bother. I just stay in my own piss.
I mean, I don't know. You tell me. Is it worth mentioning at this point? I don't think so. Uh, yeah. Looking good so far. I think I'm doing a damn good job at this. Yeah. Gotta make him look strong like Roman Reigns, huh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Damn, I've been recording for 13, 11 and a half minutes already. Fuck. Okay. What do I make of this? Okay. I gotta work on that anatomy. What the hell else? Uh. I mean, it's not the best looking shit in the world, but still, it's worth mentioning, right? Yeah. Mm. And I don't even really care about proportions, I just draw it as I see it. Motherfucker! Yeah. Make him look like Braun Strowman! Huh? Okay, what about the tail? Let me get the tail. The tail. The tail. I mean, hell, I don't know. 
Does it mean anything at this point for me to tell you that I'm making him look a lot like Super Saiyan Level 3 Goku? Fuck, I don't care. It is what it is. Everything is going to happen for a reason, regardless of why or how. And God knows fucking everything, because compared to him, I know nothing. And I know a hell of a lot more than most people, and that's a fact. So, suck it. Nah, I'm just kidding. I know I'm not going to flaunt my intelligence around like some wannabe Stephen Hawking idiot. You know? But still, it's worth mentioning. Yeah. Yay! Yay! Mammy! Mammy! The sun shines east, the sun shines west, but I know where the sun shines best. Mammy, Mammy, my strings are tangled around Alabama. Mammy, I'm a coming. I'm sorry that I made you wait. Mammy, I'm a coming. I trust and hope that I'm not late. Oh, Mammy, Mammy. I'd walk a million miles for one of your smiles, my Mammy. Oh. You remember that song? Al Jolson sang that, right? Not that it means anything, but still. I don't even care. I don't legit care. Still a better movie than anything Warner Brothers puts out in the year 2018. But not sure if I should have said that or not, but who cares? Come at me, bro. No, really, come at me, please. I fucking wanna fucking find hell with me, man. I'll show you what it's like. And I'm not talking, I'm not just talking Glenn Dangzig either. Because he's the one that said that, not me. But like he says, if you want to fight hell with me, I'll show you what it's like. The damn fact. Day Bastard One. Hell, I think I'm doing a damn good job with this. Considering this is the first time I've drawn traditionally in a hella long time. Right? Right? Yeah. Let's step into the danger zone. Oh, One missing piece for the line art. As a matter of fact, hell, let me just see this. Let me see this. There. Now I gotta miss. You gotta see that missing piece here. The missing link. That was the name of a wrestler, by the way, right back in the early 80s before I was ever thought of or conceived. This was 10 years or so before I was ever thought of, by the way. Maybe it was a little less than that. Maybe more. I don't know. Fuck all. I don't care. Yeah. Looks hella right to me. That looks hella right to me. I get this damn thing to close. There. Ah, uh, yeah.
That's what I'm talking about. Look here. Not bad, right? Wait till I color this. You wait until I color this, motherfucker. You wait until. Seriously, I shit you not. And hell, I wouldn't know if this matters at this point. Not that it should matter, but hell. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, let's color this. Damn it. Okay. No, seriously, let's just let's color this shit. Cause I don't really have time to fuck around. So, let's just get to it. Let's get to it. Using this highlighter! Ho ho! Wait a second. Yeah, I need to... Draw something here. So that I know where not to highlight. Now, I'm not an expert at this sort of thing, but I know shit, and when I know shit, I see shit, and when I see shit, I understand shit, and when I understand shit, I believe shit. So, yeah. By the way, we'll get to the coloring part in just a minute, I just have to line this shit out first. Not that it matters, but what else? What fucking else? I don't know, hell, maybe it shouldn't matter at this point? That took up about umpteen minutes of my time. Now for the line art! Ha! Okay. Skin. The skin. Gotta make this guy look strong now. As in Roman Reigns strong. I know Roman Reigns is an overplayed overpaid fucking heel well technically he's been a heel since the start of his WWE run in 20 in 2012 at the Survivor Series but still I mean 
Yeah, I know shit. I know lots of shit. Yeah, man. And you say I can't draw. Well, boom! I just proved all my naysayers won. I just proved all my naysayers wrong in one damn shot. Also notice my autism kicking in all the time. That's because I mispronounce words. Because my autism. Just so you know. By the way, I'm not editing this shit. Because I don't have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Exactly. I mean, what, are you fucking kidding me? You expect me to smile like a damn dog when you feed me shit out of a plate. You remind me of a jackass. And I'm not just talking about all those rich people out there who secretly think they run everything when they don't. Because in reality, they run nothing. They don't run anything. They never have. When it comes to government in America, we the people tell the government what to do because that's what we elect them for. That's what we elect them specifically for, to tell them what to do to make sure that they don't usurp their power. Then all that changed when we elected Good old King Andrew. Because he fucked everything up to high hell when he passed that trail of tears. Let me tell you. That fucked this country to high hell. Almost every single indigenous American died because of his ass. Because of his stupid ass. You wonder why I don't feel sorry for Democrats. Because they get exactly what's coming to them and they fucking deserve it. The poor bastards. The piss poor sorry bastards. I fucking hate this show. And I'm not talking about Jerry Springer either. But Jerry Springer's right down there. Whole bunch of other tabloid horse shit. You could have had the money if you just worked for a living. For a fucking living. You know, it's really common sense. By the way, the meticulous part about this coloring in of shit. I'm going to make sure that the black ink doesn't spew everywhere too much. That's what I mean, too much. Doesn't So it doesn't spew out too much. That's what I'm talking about, right? Right. I mean, it looks like he's got... It looks like he's got Carlos Calasan's skin, but still, this highlighter, when I show it to your camera screen, when I show it to you people, the highlighter is going to show a much lighter orange, a much lighter tinted orange, because that's, that's what highlighters do. They make oranges and yellows that much brighter, that much lighter, I should say. To make the skin color appear lighter. Right? I mean, logic, man. Just fucking logic. Pass it on, please. Because it'll save your life. I mean, what? Are you fucking kidding me?
Save me. Save me. What? Save me! You remember when that kid named Steven, then a teenager, shoved the remote book up his ass while his brother Waffle Pawn was filming him in 2009? That's got like, I don't know, 100 million views by now? Well, it will later if it hasn't already, I mean, still. And you think about it, who would have thought that shoving up a remote up your ass would allow you to make a living off of YouTube? Anything... It's possible, people. Anything. Even shoving a remote up your ass can potentially allow you to make a career out of shit like that on YouTube. And Steven and his brother Waffle Pawn, I mean, I don't know if you noticed this or not, but their, um, their greatest freakouts ever are just... They're scripted. But that doesn't mean they're not entertaining, because they're hella entertaining. I mean, look at how Waffle Pawn's become famous all over the YouTube community. Look at what it's done for Steven. Look at what it's done for him. He's an internet celebrity. Internet celebrity. Only online will you find shit like that and people getting famous off of it. Only online. And not on Pornhub either, because that's just that's just fucking retarded. Why would a fucking teenage underage man shove a remote up his ass and expect it to be published on Pornhub? I mean not that it's on Pornhub, but if it is already, then I don't know what planet you're from. Because you're obviously not from this one. Or maybe I'm not from this one. Maybe I'm just an alien. Fucking feasting on human souls. <laughs> I mean, you know. Fuck. I don't know. Make what you want of it. I don't care. No, I don't care. Legit, I don't care. <laughs> Plain fucking English. Plain English, man. Plain English. And not just the King's English, either. I'm talking about actual fucking English. As an A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Jesus! It's not hard. You understand? It's actually quite simple to understand. Easy to fathom. A dog could understand it. And not be offended. A cat can understand it. And not be offended. A fucking chicken on a fucking farm. Would understand this and not be offended. But God forbid you tell this to any millennial libtard. They'll just go fucking nuts. Fucking retarded idiots. Still buying the bullshit that Andrew Jackson, being the ass that he was, force fed the people of their ancestry some 200 years ago. You fucking kidding me? Fucking idiots. Fucking useless idiots. Doesn't get any dumber than that! No, man! It don't get no dumb of the dead.
Ah. Get all the music now. For real. Because I'm just fucking done with this. I'm done with this? So fucking done. Speaking, you know, you, you remember what I said? You know, that was the opening line to Dustin Rhodes's um, tirade on the WCW when he was supposed to debut as Seven, who was billed as a child molester who likes peeping at women and other sorts of children. I think you already know that, so I'm not going to tell you about it. Or maybe you do want me to tell you about it and you just don't know it yet. Okay, let me tell you about it, okay? Let me tell you about it. I left the World Wrestling Federation for gimmicks like this. 20 years later, he's still gold dust. Many of you may not know this, but I was gold dust and gold dust sucked. 20 years later, he's still gold dust. What a shocker, right? <laughs> Wrong! Krusty Krab training video reference. WCW reference. And I'm doing this for fair use, too. So if any of you smarks out there in YouTube land want to try and copyright claim this video, I'm just going to ignore it. And I'm just going to keep doing what I do because you can't stop me. No way in hell can you stop me. Because I'm just going to keep coming back from the fucking dead. Assuming that I haven't been dead already this whole time, but still, who isn't? I mean, you just, just, just doesn't fucking work. Nothing works anymore. Nothing matters. Nobody. You know? I mean, good God, man, it's fucking first grade. It's fucking first grade, man. You just don't. You don't get it. It's so simple, yet so many people refuse to believe it for what it fucking is, because they don't give a fuck. They don't care. But they should care, because they're above this shit. And they won't allow themselves to be above this shit because they're fucking stupid. Because they'll believe a Barack Obama over a Donald Trump any day of the fucking week. Kind of ironic, isn't it? By the way, to all you people who are going to get offended or are offended by what I've just said, you don't deserve an apology from me. I'm sorry, you don't. No. You don't deserve an apology from me. Because you knew you were part of the problem and you wouldn't do jack shit to fix it. So you vote for Hillary Clinton. So fuck you. I mean, what? Did you expect me to say anything else? Like, yay, liberals are the smartest people in the world. I mean, did you expect me to say that? Really? Did you fucking honestly expect me to say that? Did you expect me to say that? The answer is no. I don't know how long this has been going on now, possibly an hour at this point. But at this point in my life, I don't even care. I'm just going to keep going until my heart gives out and I can't take no more. More! You know, more crabs. The meme-tastical character that people made up on YouTube in various YouTube poops. You know, those are called video manipulations, by the way, in case you're wondering. Don't know if it means anything at this point, but hell, it's worth mentioning. And you may not care, but I care. I care a hell of a lot more than you do. Yeah. I just went there. And guess what? I don't care. No, man, I don't care. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah. Try telling that one to anybody else. They'll give you the same answer that I'm giving you. 
big fat no. Since I'm recording myself, since I'm recording myself, I have this question to ask. All shitting aside, all kidding aside, at this point, does it look like I should care? Because I don't. I look down on liberals, Democrats, Marxists, communists, terrorists, Antifa, BLM, and Planned Parenthood. I don't support that shit. That shit is beneath me and it should be beneath you too. If you want to do what's right, vote red this season. In your election season, when it comes time to vote, vote red. Because it will be the best decision you will ever make. And if you vote blue, the Dems are going to kill you and they're going to kill me too. Bet on it. Tell me I'm lying, because if you vote blue and the wrong people get elected, that's exactly what's going to happen. We're all going to get killed by them, the fucking deep state and deep shit. They're literally going to force us into genocide and extinction. Every bastard one of us, including Louis Farrakhan, Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton, Chelsea Clinton, George Hitler Soros. Remember, he was a Nazi general. Served in Hitler's World War II Germany. And I'll never let you forget that either. Because some of you still believe his crap. So I'm never in hell going to let you forget that. Ever. Because this is stuff that you need to know. You don't just want to know it. You need to know it. Because it'll save your life. I'm telling you, man. Logic, a little bit of logic and common knowledge and sense goes a hell of a long way. A lot further than you care to let on. Even the slightest bit of common knowledge, logic, and sense in life can take you to higher ground in ways you'll never understand or fathom. I'll tell you that straight up. Because, I mean, hell, you see... I am not in any obligation whatsoever to lie to you. I can't lie to you. I'm not allowed to. Because God won't forbid... Because God won't allow it. God's not going to allow me to lie to you. Because He knows that I'm better than that. Understand? I mean, God, man. What, do you expect me to act like some ass clown? Off of the street? Begging for money and drugs and change and hope? Like the dumbasses did when they elected Castro and Chavez and Maduro and Obama. Because that's exactly what they promoted, hope and change. But they knew what they were really promoting. And they had it from the fucking people until the people were dumb enough to elect them. And then they show their true colors. Idiots. Dumb, retarded, politician idiots. By the way, there's a fine line between mental and selective retardation. The mental kind is something that you can't help. Something that in many cases you're born with. You can't control that. Unless you allow yourself to be an independent human being and make the most of your life despite having that form of retardation. Meanwhile... And this is the kicker. If you have selective retardation, not only do you choose not to know what's wrong or right, but you deliberately mock God in the process and expect people to just fall for it, hook, line, and sinker, and give you a standing O. Right? Idiots. Democrats are the lowest form of life that there is. There are nobody else that I can think of, nobody that's even lower than they are, except, well, hell, maybe, I don't know, Pol Pot, Hitler, Weishaupt, he is a pretty low guy. Pretty good Satan ass kisser, too. I mean, not that you needed to know this stuff, because of course you needed to know this! What the hell did you expect? 
I mean, what, are you fucking kidding me? You knew. All of you knew. Whole fucking time, you knew. All day long, and don't you ever tell me otherwise, because you knew, man. You knew. You knew. Yeah. Mm. Actually, now that I think about it, this is turning a hell of a lot better than I thought it would. I thought it was going to be a shit post. A literal shit post. Good morning. I made a shit. Can you clean it up for me? Democrats in a nutshell. Karl Marx in a nutshell. Fucking fascists in a nutshell. Because God forbid you try to get this truth from anywhere else and they'll fucking spin it to no end and force you to believe the bullshit that they're trying to sell you. Knowing good and well that it ain't true. Give me a break. I mean, seriously, man. Don't fall for their crap. It's not worth it. Never was, never will be. You know, like I said, a little bit of logic, a little bit of common sense, a little bit of awareness and knowledge, and confidence and faith, even the slightest bit, can go a hell of a long way. By the way, there's going to be a new shockumentary on my YouTube channel very, very soon. It's called, quite simply, Weishaupt's Conspirators. A shockumentary. Because I am Skull Media Enterprises. I built this thing on my own. Years of ideas on how to make Skull Media, and I finally settled on this idea. Three separate entities, all serving as subdivisions of the Skull Media Empire. Skull Media Animations, Skull Music Productions, Skull Media Films, the trinity of Skull Media. And it may expand, too, depending on what you believe. I might even create a TV service based on my Skull Media Empire and simply call it Skull TV. Kind of like Direct TV, except everything that you're going to get is exclusively from my YouTube channel, from my DeviantArt, you, to, you get to access my whole freaking YouTube catalog at no charge if you just pay a simple one-time $5 donation. You get every bit of YouTube access to my content for free. No additional extra charges. And it only costs you 5 bucks to get into the know. 5 bucks, Just 5 because I have 820 some odd videos on my channel. So that's almost, I would say, hell. That's like literally almost a day, an entire day's worth of content that you can binge watch for free on my YouTube channel. And all you have to do is pay me a one time $5 donation. Of course, at some point, I'm going to have to create a square. You know, square, right? I mean, yeah. Not that it matters to you, but it matters to me. And what matters to me is important. And what matters to God is that much more so. And...
Look at that. Does that not look boss to you? Does that not look boss to you? Seriously. Oh, seriously. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Great A quality shit right here. It only took me 50 minutes. Actually, more like 51 or 52, but still. It's gonna do it. Yes, that's gonna.